Hello everyone, I'm Wendell Jones and welcome to this edition of the program Jones and Company. On this program we examine the national issues of the Bahamas and uh, we invite you to join us. On the 30th of June there will be elections for the Bahamas Bar Association and uh, since the general elections of 2010 uh, the former president Ellsworth Johnson became a Minister of State in the office of the Attorney General and so there is not only that vacancy but uh, also the other members of the uh, executive of the Bar Association. And so on our program today we're going to talk about the Bar Association and um, we are pleased to have as our guest on the program today a candidate for the presidency. Mr. Theo Burrows, uh, who is with the firm Higgs and Johnson. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you too, and glad to be here. Good. Um, how long have you been a lawyer? I've, I was called in England in 2010 and um, in the Bahamas Bar in 2012. And so, what uh, type of law do you practice? Well, I currently practice um, in the private client and wealth management group, so I deal mostly with trusts, estates, wills, and, and so forth, so estate planning. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are seldom in the courts, eh? Yes, sir, seldom in the courts, but quite active at the bar, as such, through my practice group. Yes, uh, Godfrey Nis, it's good to see you. Thank you. you. Know, Nis has a son who is a lawyer. I think he knows yes. Timothy. Timothy, yes. I'm quite aware of him. Yes. Uh, he's a litigator, active yeah. at, at the, he's at the bar as well. He's active at the bar. Yes. And he's smart like his mummy, right? I concur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, why, why are you um, running for the presidency? I'm running for the presidency because the current state of the bar, the current state of affairs, I think the status quo cannot remain. I think there are many issues, pressing issues that are facing the Bahamas Bar Association. I think the time has come now for us to step back and evaluate the direction that we want to take it. I think also that now is, um, the time has come for us to engage, to now take ownership of the issues for new ideas. I think there are a number of issues that I will speak about on, my, on the show today that will show you that the bar right now is in a state of, I think we have lost some of our respect, um, some of the confidence of our members, and we have uh, quite a bit of talent and persons willing to assist but I think it needs re-engagement mm -hmm. um, at the bar. I think um, we have elected more of the same, um, and now I think persons are excited, especially with my campaign, to um, have uh, new ideas, fresh ideas, and a new vision that will prepare the bar for the future, restore integrity, integrity and, and maintain trust. And tell Mr. Burroughs, how many members are at the bar now? Well, um, the last I checked, uh, the official list that was distributed, um, 2015 I think was the latest statistics that we have. It was about, about 1,200 uh, members of the Bahamas Bar Association. Well, it's more than that now. Yes. Because during 2016 you had about 50 or so people who were at it, eh? Yes, yes, that's correct. So about 1,200. Yes. Yeah. And you know, Godfrey Ennis remembers the time when there were only about uh, 30 members of the bar. He remembers less than that. Is that right? <laughs> less than that. Yes. Tell me, how diversified is the practice of law? The, the practice of law is very diversified. Um, in terms of practicing on, on that level, they, you have many practice areas. Um, that are at the bar, you have the commercial practice, you have financial, which to be honest, a lot of the practice can fall in, uh, practices can fall in um, an umbrella term because you have very various practices that fall from um, those practices. You have real estate and conveyancing, um, you have trust, like I'm a trust lawyer, you have uh, commercial litigation, so you have various um, practice groups um, that can stem, and, and in between them you have insolvency and different specialized areas you, at the you, bar. You are, you are a, a pretty young member of the bar, and um, uh, you know, one would say that, well, you know, the president of the bar association should be someone who has been there for 
uh, 10, 20 years. What do you say to that? Well, I, I answer it in this fashion. Um, I think it should be, uh, you, t you tell persons by the fruit they bear. So I think that, and I always told a story, my mother and I were speaking the other day, and we have a tamarind tree, and we have a dilly tree. So the tamarind tree is older than the dilly tree, but guess which one bears the fruit? So at the end of the day, I think that um, it's about issues. It's, um, and to be quite frank, the se senior members have led the Bar Association, say, for the last president for all these years, and yet we find ourselves in the current state. So I think to, to just, whilst it's a legitimate question, to look at it just from that myopic a standpoint, I think we'll be doing a disservice to ourselves because I think it's about new ideas, it's about engagement and, and um, a vision, and that is for senior and junior members. It's working together to a common goal. So I don't think that um, seniority, I think it's more a symbiotic relationship that should happen mm -hmm. between the junior and senior bar. And I am willing and obviously will consult um, with members of the so association. Um, no man is an island. And obviously, I want to bring about one of my platform issues is to bring about engagement. Um, and I find that um, with this election, I can say that some, this is the first time some members who I know who are quite senior have, are going to vote in 30 years. Uh, you, you, you said, you mentioned the state of the bar. Um, there are many Bahamians who have a whole lot of complaints about lawyers. Yes. Um, and so uh, we're going to deal with that. But, 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 but tell us, when you say the state of the bar, it sounds as though you believe that the state of the bar has deteriorated over the years. Yes. And, and, and tell us why. I believe the state of the bar has deteriorated because, not, not because persons there were not hardworking and not because they weren't doing what they were supposed to do. I think the problem I see is, one is disengagement. I see that we have not equipped our members and the bar and the apparatus and machinery that supports it um, to evolve within the times. I find that uh, we are still uh, pretty much uh, operating the bar as something that's not fit for the 21st century. So it's not that um, persons are not working hard. I think it's the apparatus. And when I talk about the state of the bar, there are certain issues you, you dealt with. Um, you mentioned um, a lot of persons have complaints, so what we'll get to later. But I think that's indicative of um, and for instance, I, I know I've spoken to two members on the Ethics Committee, and that is the committee uh, in the Bar Association. Um, and I want to say that I don't speak for the Bahamas Bar Association or the Bar Council, the current Bar Council, but um, looking at the Legal Profession Act and speaking with persons who are actively involved, um, I would uh, tell the public that it's not that they're not working hard. I would make them akin to doctors, maybe a doctor's hospital where you have doctors working but just overworked. So what I think um, the issue is, is that processes and, and, mach and the machinery is broken. I think we need to take a step back and reevaluate um, the mechanisms and, and put things in place that would make the for instance, the Ethics Committee and the different working committees of the bar more efficient. Okay. Tell me, Mr. Burrs, the position that you aspire, is that a full-time position, a part-time position, a paying position? What kind of position well, no, is it? No, it's not a paid position. It's a position of servitude. Um, what, it is a full-time position. Um, but it's not a paid position. But obviously, the president will serve for the executive team and also his council members. And to the reach the wider support of the uh, membership, but, but it's not a paid position. Well, will your job entail uh, setting some sort of standards for the, for the Bar Association? Because I get the impression, right, that lawyers are a very independent group. Many of them go their own way, and 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 uh, and you all really are, you all really are union. 
you know. Well, I mean, that's, that's what you are, a union. Well, I, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a monopolistic union. Well, what I can tell you this is, um, union is not a scary word for No, me. but it's a monopolistic union, right? Well, it's, it's the only you set your own rules. You set your own rules yeah. and you govern yourself. Well, not, not entirely. I, when, when I, I would say this, that um, it's a union in the sense that I wouldn't label it a union, but it's the only association that is mandated by the Legal Profession yes, Act it's, it's to monopoly. represent the, bar monopoly. The, the members it's of the Bar Association. So there's no alternative to representation, so there's strength in numbers. And to me, union is not necessarily a bad word. I, I uh, came up and the union. My grandmother, uh, Idina Burroughs, was president of the uh, BCPOU, so I, I do have a little union in my blood, which is not uh, a bad word, but what I think if um, what we should do is you start to work together. I yeah, think but, but you, you people in the Bar Association look at yourself like sacred cows in this country, uh, where you set your own rules, yeah. you regulate yourself, um, they're, they're, uh, you, you de determine who ought to be uh, called to the bar, who ought to be this bad. Um, you, 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 Godfrey Miss called it monopolistic. Well, what uh, I but 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 uh, you, you, you almost are a law unto yourself. Well, what I would say to that is, I, I think that um, some of it, I, um, I think maybe a little wishful thinking in the sense that. We are the Bar Council, and as I said, I don't speak for the Bar Council, but as I understand the law, the Bar Council is mandated to follow the law. It's a statutory body. Yeah, but the so, statutory body has given you more powers than any other profession in the country well, to I, do your own thing. Well, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Doctors don't even have the power to do their own thing as you people do in the Bar Association. Well, the, the role of lawyers in society is most important. I would say yeah, that... Yeah, you're sacred, right? I, well, no, I wouldn't say we're sacred. Um, I would actually challenge you. I'm sure you have many lawyer friends. I would think that you Miss, and how could you talk with Mr. Um, Aeneas, good, decent son like that? He's a part of, a part of the profession. So I, I think uh, Mr. Aeneas would help me in defending that honor um, yeah, I can. Um, of the profession. Yeah. I, I cannot no, no, see. But, but he agrees with me. I, I he don't. agrees with me that, that you lawyers um, sometimes believe that you are like a law unto yourself. Uh, you regulate yourself. Uh, you discipline yourself. Um, and, and the list goes on what, and on and what on. I, uh, you, 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 the, the Bahamas Bar Association ought to be accountable uh, to, 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 to some entity. I, well, I, I think it should be accountable to its members and the public. What I would say to that is the accountability um, part is, is there. The accountability part is there. I think it's up to the um, membership, and I think it's up to the general public Got to call it a, a, a union, but you are a cartel. No, I don't think so. I think that's a very strong, you, you, that's you, a very you, strong word, Mr. You, Jones. You, you, you are a cartel. Um, and, is um, there another working and, definition for and, cartel? And, just the one I, and, I'm thinking of. I don't think that's and, I agree and, with. And uh, you, uh, in terms of disciplining um, yourselves, um, there is a whole lot of curry favoring going yes. on well, uh, in the Bahamas Bar can, well, can I Can I say this? To some extent, I think um, what you guys are saying is why I'm in agreement with. So that's why I'm asking for the opportunity for change. I think the persons who have uh, serving or who are who are running for office, I should say, are more of the same. So what I want to do is regain confidence. I want to disabuse the public of the notion that I think maybe only two persons in the room share, but that we are a cartel and that we are a union, but union with a, a capital U, I take it to be a dirty word. Um, no, no. But I, I don't want um, to have the public to think that um, we are not listening and that we will not change. I think even the more senior members have been open to my run. My firm fully backs me, all the seniority um, there. I've had calls that have encouraged me and said it's time for new ideas. And I agree that we need a facelift, and I agree that we need better regulation. That is a problem. Yes, um, um, Mr. Burroughs, you have a whole lot of people in our community who have been offended, and uh, they will go to a particular lawyer to sue a lawyer, 
and um, they wouldn't take the case. They wouldn't take the case. Um, uh, you, you, you have lawyers who refuse to go uh, in court against a, 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 another lawyer. And so the public is disadvantaged uh, when they are offended by certain members of the bar. Well, this is why, if you, if I, um, if you permit me to mention a few points from my platform, um, in terms of the ethics committee, I think there needs to be greater education with the members of the public and how to file complaints, how to follow with complaints. Obviously, it's, it needs to be a more efficient way in dealing with complaints. But I think um, it may be a lot of times, too, that complaints may be filed incorrectly. Complaints may not be filed. A lot of persons, instead of taking time and penning an official complaint, that's the only way um, the ethics committee on the bar can actually have some teeth in disciplining the members. I do also, um, well, I would say that a lot of members prefer to take the issues to the airwaves. But what I would want to educate the members... A lot of members? Of a, a lot of mem persons, members of the public, yeah. um, and our society in the Bahamas, we, we call the airwaves. And while that is not um, entirely um, that uh, a position that I'm against, I also think that I would educate the members according to the act on how to file on a complaint and the way to file on a complaint. Yeah, but people go to the airwaves when they see they don't get any redress, uh, redress or any results uh, from the complaints made to the Bahamas Bar Association. They come to the press and they complain about various um, lawyers. And then I say to them, well, why don't you sue the lawyer? Well, you know, I've been to several lawyers. Uh, they've taken my deposits and, and nothing um, um, has, has, has happened. And this, is, th th this happens with, with great regularity in this country, well, Mr. Burroughs. Well, what I can say is I will say that the Ethics Committee works very hard. But what I would say, too, is we need to meet the general public in the middle and realize that certain processes or mechanisms need to be repaired, need to be revamped. Um, that's why I ask the membership um, for this very issue uh, that you're expressing that the general public and some of, not all, um, for every instance that you give me um, about a negative uh, complaint, I could give you a positive response um, about lawyers. So I don't think that we should look um, at it in the round. I think sometimes, just like every profession, you have certain journalists um, that do not hold water and doesn't do their work. But I think we should um, refrain from making sweeping generalizations. No, but we're talking about ethical uh, Eth problems. Yes, now. yes. No, I, uh, I, we're, we're, we're talking about problems where 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 um, lawyers uh, take money from from the unsuspecting members of, of the public. What? All right, and uh, uh, they uh, people who are distressed as a result of this. Uh, journalists uh, are not in, in, in the position to be taking people's money and all that type of stuff. Well, what I right? would... So don't, don't make the comparison between a journalist and a lawyer. We're no. talking about a lawyer, well, what I would... a, 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 an officer of the court. Yes, no, I agree. Uh, who, uh, sometimes there are officers of the court who are out there fleecing the unsuspecting public. And, 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 and there's hardly any redress. Well, what I would say is, I, I don't know if I entirely agree with you. No, I know you that. don't agree with me. Well, no, you, no, no, you no. can't put yourself in that position because no, no, no. you might get no votes. No, no, no. Right? No, no, no. We, we have, um, this is on a position and a vision. And part of actually, in my platform, I do want to take um, the lawyers that uh, are not doing what they're supposed to do. And I wouldn't put that as the majority of the lawyers, but there are a certain spectrum of our membership that who, are not, who is not doing, who are not doing what they're supposed to do. And for instance, one of my um, plans is, and I was speaking with persons, is if you look at the bar in England and Wales and the Bar Standard Board, the Bar Standards Board would regulate lawyers there. Um, things are made public. When a lawyer is reprimanded, I think it should be um, made available, suspended, um, should be made available online. So the members of the public can know that this particular lawyer, in that instance, took a members, uh, uh, just members of the general public funds and may not have done what they were supposed to do. But now that the public is educated and aware, now we, they see that there are real consequences to their actions. I think also, too, that it, 
I, may, I, I want to explain that it's the Ethics Committee and the Disciplinary Committee. So what the Ethics Committee do does is that the Ethics Committee takes it, uh, evaluates the case, and there are loads of complaints, I will uh, admit that, but takes the complaint and the Ethics Committee powers up to a reprimand. So if the eth Ethics Committee um, decides and convenes and meets that it's up to a reprimand, then they will reprimand that lawyer. Now anything beyond that, it's, it sends it to the disciplinary committee. Well, we need an ombudsman in the, in the country just to deal with lawyers. But let's take a break here. Uh, this is Jones and Company and uh, Mr. Theo Burrows, who is res running for the presidency of the Bahamas Bar Association. He's our guest on the program. We'll come right back. <laughs> 